I'm going to be shooting a chronograph today, so I uh, figured I'd go over one in case you haven't seen one before. Uh, this one is the Crony brand, I think, is the name of the brand, and there's no price on it. I'm pretty sure this one was like about 100 bucks at a big box store here in town. This is what it looks like when it's unfolded, and uh, there's different models of them. This one, I guess, is the uh, F1, and it's basically just got the on-off switch, no other frills than that. And the concept is you've got an electronic guy over here, you've got an electronic guy in the back, and then you're going to shoot across them here. The uh, first one, it's looking up and it something, you know, the bullet breaks that little beam it's checking out. Then it breaks the second beam and then it just does the math. And however long it takes to uh, for the bullet to pass between those two points is going to come up on the screen and tell you how many feet per second. Uh, this one's just made for the U.S., I guess, because we don't have any of that crazy metric stuff. Um, this looks a little bit different than you may be used to seeing. They also come with these sunscreens. Some people call them wings. And different models have different styles of this. This style just uses these metal uh, risers, which are going to just fit into the unit itself up here on either side of the electronic eye there. And I'm not going to put it together because I don't need it today, but basically if you didn't have a nice clear sky like this, uh, then or if you don't have clouds, then sometimes the little electronic eye has trouble seeing the bullet pass. And you'll notice right away, you just won't get a reading. So these sunscreens come up and they basically create a uniform backfield for that electronic eye to uh, contrast the bullet going by. Like I say, I don't think I'm going to need them today, but if I do, I'll put them on. But anyway, that's why you see them sometimes differently, where they have this, like, sort of a triangle shape. And there's usually one over each electronic eye, so there'll be one up here and one back here. I'll go ahead and set it up just so to illustrate the, the concept here. Alright, so that's what it looks like with its wings on. Um, I just don't put them on usually because it, for some reason, the wind's always blowing every time I put them on. And even though it's on a full-size tripod this is a pretty cheap one it's made out of cheap aluminum so uh, you know some wind resistance up here it'll knock it right over uh, otherwise though you just sort of line it up you know if we were shooting right now we would want to line it up like that you'd want to shoot somewhere in this area so that you're going right over the eyes uh, of course you don't want to shoot your wings or the uh, back of the unit itself but luckily I missed the eye that time but it does screw up the case so that it's harder to put it in the box again. Anyway, it's a pretty neat little thing and it'll tell you the uh, muzzle velo or the velocity depending on where you put it. Uh, if you put it really close to your muzzle, you'll get a you know, higher number than if you put it down range. Obviously, if you put it down range, it's a little harder to hit the sweet spot. Now, this is the kind of no frills, low budget one. Some of these, they take the electronics and put them remote, either on a wire or I imagine sometimes wireless. And then uh, you just put that unit here on your counter, on your uh, shooting bench, so that you can have this further down range, or just not have to squint to see the little display. Anyway, if you're interested in uh, reloading, these are handy. If you're interested in uh, checking out the performance of your rifles, these are handy. And even though they're a little expensive, sometimes it's worth it to uh, go in with a couple of friends who shoot. And you know, for 20 bucks, five people could get one of these and uh, pass it around. You don't use it every time you go to the range, but it's handy to have one available when you do. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.